afternoon or morning or whatever time you're watching the video YouTube nation how's it going this is do it with dad you're doing it with me you'll have to pardon the wind if it's a little loud because it is blowy as fuck so what's going on um, as you may know or may not know or even care I uh, I got into a little bit of a little a wreck I slid the bike out from underneath me so I'm gonna kind of go into detail about what happened there and really it was kind of stupid Let's see you man there we go, I'm in second now. But yeah, so here's what happened. You know, of all the things that I could have been doing when this happened, I could have been wheeling, I could have been driving like an asshole, I could have been passing someone. Nope. Nope, not even close. What was going on is that I went around a turn, I was like slowing down, I got down to maybe about like 30 or something like that, like a turn like that. And I was in the city, and, well, the town, and we don't have a fucking city, it's Brunswick. Uh, what is going on there? Bikes. Let's go check these out. Holy shit. That was random. Who would just leave a whole bunch of bikes out here? Look at all these bikes, and a Challenger, of all things. Oh, look at that. Someone's been riding these. I wonder what they're up to, where they're going to. Huh. That one looks awesome with the apes. Anyway, is there like a bunch of like really muscularly fat guys sitting around here that I need to be looking out for? Uh, that's what I feel like is going to happen. So anyway, I'm going around a turn and I hit a little bit of an oil slick and the back wheel just slips out from underneath me, which is bound to happen. From time to time, I guess it... <laughs> Uh, oh well. Thankfully, I wasn't hurt or anything like that. It was really easy. It was uh, it was a really uh, not shouldn't say easy, but it was a really light fall. I uh, was I fell maybe doing 20 miles an hour at the most, and I did like two rolls. And uh, this picture that I'm going to show you right here, this is the only scratch that I got from it. That's it. it. Didn't even eat through my jacket. It was just the roughness on the road through the jacket onto my arm that made it look that made it like all fucked up. That's it. Now my bike wasn't so lucky, it got a little bit more scratched up on the right fairing and I just replaced those. So I was a little bit pissed off about that as you can imagine. I just replaced these brand new fairings, you know, $500 worth of fairings, maybe six if you count shipping. And then fucking Danny scrapes them up. Oh well, what are you doing? I'm gonna just go around you, okay? I'm just gonna go around you. So yeah, that's what kind of, uh, that's what happened. I just hit a little bit of an oil slick at a turn. Going, I was going a little bit faster than I should on this turn. But you know, I, I had a new back tire, so I was all cocky. I'm like, I can take this fucking turn. I'm a professional. Nope. Slid the bike out. Did about two rolls on the ground. And then I used that momentum from that roll to get me up back on my feet. And I was, I had, st I stopped the bike with my hands which is good. Like I stopped it before it could roll any farther. And there was a whole line of cars on the opposite lane that saw me do this and just like watch me eat shit, right? So naturally they tried to get out and help me, but before they could get out and help me, I had already picked up the bike and was back on it. And I was trying to shift through the gears to get back into neutral, you know? I don't know why I actually did that just a second ago. But so this one fucking guy, one fucking dude, gets out of this little yellow Camaro and starts clapping. Just starts slow clapping right in front of everybody. And then like the six or seven people that are outside of their cars start clapping too. And you're like, motherfucker, this is not a moment to be clapping. I just wrecked my bike. You guys are clapping? Fuck every single one of y'all. I had a standing ovation when I wrecked my bike. That was really nice of people to do that, you know? That was really nice of people to do that. But it's all in good fun, I guess, because I was okay, and that's that's to be that's to be. Uh, traffic could have been coming. I'm really lucky, you know. Not everybody wrecks their bike as is, is, is nonchalantly as I did. It was all like, uh, roll, roll. <laughs> you know, I mean, 
it happened so quick I was lucky no cars were coming I mean if there was ever a perfect scenario of dropping your bike that was it and unrelated news um, I sold my truck it sold it sold today. it sold on uh, Wednesday actually I sold it finally for twenty six thousand dollars which is really good because it's like 4,000 more than any dealership was offering me. So I sold it via like private sale. We went down to Jacksonville, Florida, and uh, they sat there and wrote me a big old fat check. Uh, we, went the, we went the first day, actually. We went, we went Tuesday to go get this done, and we brought the wrong paperwork. And Jacksonville's about an hour and a half drive, so we drove down there for, it took us about an hour and a half to get there, maybe a little bit longer, get to the bank, sit around in the bank, fill out paperwork as much as we can, and then all of a sudden we find out that we don't have the right stuff. It took about an hour. And they said, oh, you need the you need the registration, which I thought I had, I didn't have it. So we're like, well, fuck, no one could give it to us either. We tried, fa we tried getting uh, the courthouse to fax it to us and everything like that. Nope. So that kind of fucking sucks. So we had to drive all the way back home. You know, six hours out of the day that we spent pretty much doing nothing. Didn't have enough time to go back down there again. So I had to do it again the next day. Drive down to Jacksonville again. And everything went smooth as silk the second time around. But what type of car should I get, guys? I'm, I need some uh, advice on this. So right now, um, here's, here's the uh, kind of criteria that I'm looking for. I'm looking for a uh, two-door coupe. Uh, really in the range of like $25,000, but you know, you can, you can get, find good deals anywhere, so don't, don't really worry about too much about the price. Uh, six-speed manual transmission, I definitely want manual transmission, I hate fucking driving automatics now. I drove an automatic truck for a long time, and I'm, I'm pretty much done with that for a little while. Maybe when I'm old and like, hey, this hurts my hands. I don't like the way the ball feels. I'm just getting my hip, ah, my hip. And I've been looking at a, a Mustang, which is the 2011 and up model because after 2011, 2011 and up, they put the 5.0 back in the, they put the 5.0 back in the Mustang, which makes, I think like 105 more horsepower than the V, uh, the V8 in 2010, which was the 4.6. So I definitely want the I want the 2011 and up, and that's like the winner winner chicken dinner right now. I really want the Mustang, and there's a lot of them in my price range. They're they're good low miles, uh, six speed obviously, but I'm also looking at uh, Genesis coupes because they're six speed and they're pretty quick, they're really fun to drive. I've driven a couple of them and they're fun to drive, and obviously the six cylinder and six speed. Uh, I know the 2013s have like 30 more horsepower than the 2012s and down, and then. Um, I also looked at 370Zs because they make a decent amount of horsepower. They're two, st they're two door. There's no back seats though. You know, I know the Mustang and the, uh, I know the Mustang and the Genesis Coupe don't exactly have huge back seats. But still, I mean, it's they're back there, and I have a dog, and that'd be perfect. Is that Robert? Uh, maybe it was Robert. We'll find out. I need to make a U-turn quick, come on. Like, well, look at that, look at that 370Z. Oh, that looks like a new one. And those are like 32 grand new, 40 grand new. And I'm like, yeah, I can do without that payment. Nope, don't need that. I like the Z's a lot. They're pretty looking cars. What else am I looking at? Fucking, uh, there's a couple BMW coupes that I really like because they're pretty, but I can't find any of them with low miles. So that's a kind of a, a kick in the dick. Looked at Camaros. And I got a little bit more money to spend on Camaros because I get this, it's really stupid, it's, it's hard to explain, but I've got this like GM card. Was there any cops around? I mean, there was one right there. I, I could, I could in theory go ahead and make this turn. Robert's probably already way long gone. I'm looking at Camaros, but they don't, the Mustang's a little bit quicker. And I don't really like the way the Camaros look as much as the Mustangs, even though I'm a diehard Camaro guy. So that's kind of my uh, take on that. If, if those Cadillac CTSVs, were like $20,000 cheaper, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Yeah, that'd be good. I even like the new Chrysler 300s, to be honest. If I could get me an SRT8 version, holy shit. Good golly, Miss Molly. I like the way they look, I like the way they sound. I got them big old beef and V8s. It's still red, and I can't go, and I probably saw Robert already. I probably lost him, unless he hit a nice red light. That'd be cool. Why do I have to obey by the rules? I shouldn't have to do this. I'm on a motorcycle. Motorcycles don't obey by the rules. I'm trying to be a good person here. I'm really trying. 
but man, nothing. I just can't. Come on, let's go. Let's go. I swear to God. I swear, there it is. I don't know if that's Robert or not. I don't think he put on new shiny rims on his Corvette. He had those black stripes though. He's got a little R6, and I like that bike a lot. But his tires are fucked. At least the last time that we hung out, his tires were gone. He had a huge chicken strip right in the middle, and it was like beleveled, it was raised up. So I don't know how he managed to do that. Okay, look at the Camaro, right over there. I like them, but I just like, there's something about them that I don't like, the design on them. I just fucking hate it. I, I, not that I hate it either, it's, it's a love-hate relationship. Every time I look at it, I like it, and then I hate it. And it's really weird, it's really weird to feel like that about a car. I think I like it because it's Camaro, and I think I don't like it because of the way it looks. Now the engine's a different story, it's got a pretty decent engine in it. And they have the six speed obviously. But they just don't look like, I just, I, uh, I can't fucking, eh. There's any other cheaper sports cars in my way. And when I say sports cars, I mean like sports cars, you know, like Mustangs, Camaros. I should have just taken the turn, I fucking lost them. 370Zs, um, Genesis Coupes, things that I'm uninterested in are like Mazda Miatas, Honda 2000s, fucking anything with the word VTEC. I just, no Acuras, no Integras. And I looked at those G30, what is it, the G37s, those are like the 370 engine two-door coupes that Infiniti makes. Those are pretty nice, but I really, I, like I said, I. I'm really looking for something that's going to be really quick out of the door that I can always add more to. I looked at Corvettes, but I'm pretty sure the insurance is a total fuck you. I'm almost 100% certain the insurance goes way up between the Mustangs and the Corvettes. Even though it sucks because I, I found this uh, 2003 Z06 with 22,000 miles on it, 23,000 miles on it. And it's, it's fucking awesome. And I think the zero to 60 is a, a like four two or something like that. I can't remember the exact number, but I know it's in the low fours. I'm like, all right, yeah, you gonna learn today. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? You gonna learn today. The wood, was this it? Is this the neighborhood that he lives in? Is it Shannon? No, this is not the neighborhood, is it? Blowy as fuck, man. The Z06 has got really low zero to zero to 60 times, and it's, it makes a lot of horsepower. It's pretty beefy, but I'm I can't I don't think I can do the insurance on those. I have to I have to really check. But I'm like, who would insure a 20 year old in a in a Corvette? It is true that I don't have anything on my record. I don't have a speeding ticket on my record, which is really surprising, especially with all the uh, the fucking fast vehicles that I've owned. Damn. I was gonna clean my room, but then I got up. I don't know how the fuck I got here. This is. <laughs> hey guys, how's it going? So, yeah, my camera dies here. I apologize. I could have swore that it had more battery life. It said that it had more battery life. But you figure, the one thing that I'm supposed to do, I would have my shit together. Nope. Anyway, what I was talking about, I was talking about different cars that I was looking at, and I was I wanted you guys' opinions on which vehicle to get. Like I was listing off, I was listing off uh, 370Zs, Mustangs, Camaros, blah, blah, blah. You know, you get the idea. American Muscle in, um, uh, like the higher end. I mean, obviously I can't afford a fucking Nissan GTR as much as I would love that. But anyway, I just wanted you guys' opinion. And um, it sucks that the, the camera cut off because I had some really kick-ass stand-up wheelie practice today. I mean, I was killing it today. And fucking camera was shut off because cameras hate me. Yeah. Uh, don't ask this, but make sure to hit the like button on the... Um, down there. No, a little bit to your left. To your, to your left. No, your other left. Yeah, that one. And then the subscribe button, if you haven't done so already. Dicks. So, yeah, make sure to do that, and then you can click on the previous video, and then the future video, but that's not done yet. Stand up wheelie practice video coming soon. dog. Are you a dog? Where is she? Where is she, Joker? Where is she? Where is